Alright, welcome back to Rock U, where music is easy and fun to learn. I'm Jake, and today I'm going to do Go Your Own Way by Fleetwood Mac. Okay, to start this groove, what we're going to do is we're going to start with quarter notes on the bass drum. Easy. One, two, three, four. Okay, and none of this groove is played on cymbals. There's no hi-hat, no crash, no ride. It's all played on the drums, just going around the drums. So like I said, we start with quarter notes on the bass drum. So now let's add, little by little, the parts of the hands. Uh, so the first thing you're going to do on beat two is you're going to play what's called a flam on the snare. And a flam is basically when you play both hands that are almost at the same time, but not quite. That's what a flam is. So in, a, in an orchestral world, what you do with the flam is your right hand or left hand would be up high and your left hand would be low and you get a sound like that. Because we're playing rock music, we have both hands up high, but we still want to get that gadoom sound. You don't want it too open, otherwise it sounds like two notes, and you don't want it to close what's called the double stop. It kind of cancels out a lot of the tones, the drum makes it sound weird. So you want a little bit separation in them. Okay, so that's what we're going to do on beat two. So all we have right now is quarter notes on the bass, beat two on the snare. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Easy so far. So the next part, you're gonna take both your hands, you're gonna move them to the high tom and the floor tom. So tom one and tom three. And you're gonna play that on the and of three. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Like that. So put that with the bass drum. One, Okay, so the last thing you're going to do, since that's on the end of three, now you're going to keep your right hand here. You're going to move your left hand over to tom two, and you're going to play your, just your left hand on the end of four. So one, two, three, four, and like that. One, two, three, four. And the reason you're not playing these two hands together is because you can play your right hand on beat one with the bass drum. So it's going to go four, and one. So one helpful tip that'll help you uh, really get a feel for this drum. You want to be able to do a quarter note bass drum and play whatever you want on top of it. And the way for me is how you get there is let's say you're playing this and you're practicing, you got that quarter note bass drum going along, but let's say your hands mess up, let's say you play a wrong note. Never stop this. That's what drives it, right? Because I have a lot of students, and even I, I'm guilty of this too, where you play in this and you, know, you mess up, oh I'm going to start over. That doesn't really help you with the coordination. So what I want you to do when you're practicing this, if you're having a lot of trouble figuring this out, uh, keep that quarter note going and take it part by part. If you can't quite get that and of three yet, don't worry. Start with just this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And don't worry about how long this takes you if it takes you a long time to figure it out because you're playing it right. You're figuring it out correctly. So by the time you get it, it could take two months before you figure this out but you know it perfectly, front and back by the time you get this. So you have the whole groove playing, and you don't even have to think about this. That's where I want to be as a drummer. I'm not even thinking about this. Right? I can do all that sort of stuff while I'm not even thinking about this. And that bass drum is still going. And that's where you want to get. That's a good way to figure that out on your own.